Hello, nice to be with you once more during this season of Lent, when we remember the temptations of our Lord, uh, which we read in Matthew chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. And if you read through that passage of Scripture, it reminds us very forcibly of the priorities of the Lord Jesus Christ. You may remember that uh, uh, he was uh, tempted to turn stones into bread to feed his hunger. And uh, Jesus replies, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. And we see here the priority of the Word of God in the life of the Lord Jesus. So during this period of Lent, we can have a little check-up and ask ourselves, what place does the Word of God have in our lives? And then the second temptation uh, was to jump from the pinnacle of the temple in Jerusalem and no doubt that would cause a tremendous stir people witnessing somebody jumping from the top of the the pinnacle of the temple and uh, it might entertain people but Jesus hadn't come to entertain the priority of the Lord Jesus was to do the will of God. He wanted to know what his father wanted him to do. And uh, he wanted to be obedient to the father. And so it is with us. We need to remind ourselves that the important thing in life is to seek to do God's will, to please our Heavenly Father. And in the Lord's Prayer we can We pray every time, your will be done, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And now that we're Christians and we're following Jesus, we're not going our own way, but we want to go his way and uh, follow the Lord Jesus. And he's given us this priority when he's being tempted, the priority of doing the will of God. That's the important thing. And then the final uh, temptation was when the uh, the devil uh, showed Jesus all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this will I give you, he said, if you will bow down and worship me. Jesus said to him, Away from me, Satan, for it is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. Yes, the priority in the life of Jesus was to worship his father, to put him first. And uh, there is a of saying that the chief end of man is to worship God and to enjoy him forever. And Romans chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 remind us that God's will is good, acceptable and perfect. And uh, this is what we need in our world today, that people will seek the will of God, seek his way, do those things that please him. And Jesus did uh, the will of God and he worshipped the Father and he obeyed the word and he took him to Calvary and there he laid down his life for us. The Father sent the Son to be the saviour of the world. And now, having turned to Jesus, 
we want to pray, not my way, but your way, O oh Lord. So I'll leave you with those three priorities in the life of the Lord Jesus. To worship God, to do his will, and uh, to read his word. Just a prayer. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the example that you have left us when you were tempted in the wilderness. We pray, Lord, that you'll help us to follow your example. Help us to get our priorities right and to do your will. And we ask it for the honour and glory of our Heavenly Father. Amen. Okay, well, good to be with you. And uh, look forward to being with you next week, God willing. Bye-bye and God bless.